Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back with another episode of my Premiership Showdown series. I will be looking at the entire week of events and uh, looking forward to this weekend's football matches, the big ones. And of course there are two massive events that happened this week with uh, Chelsea playing uh, Fletico Madrid away which uh, will be very important with this game you are seeing in front of you, Liverpool versus Chelsea and also biggest story of the week, Moyes being sat by Man United, was it fair? So I'll give my opinions on that as well as looking forward to this weekend, of course there was this Liverpool-Chelsea game, Liverpool of course so close now, come on to uh, getting first, I'm actually there to see this game at Anfield so I will not be uploading tomorrow, actually I will not be uploading that much because I have a project in the works so actually there is a possibility that my next video is to give away results but don't worry, I'll be back with some videos soon or some surprise. I still need to talk to some people about it. But hopefully it'll be better and bigger and you guys will enjoy it even more. But now it's time to get into this episode. Liverpool vs Chelsea. I'll make it six minute long house because I've got lots of things to talk about. And uh, most importantly, I think probably United game. The United, not the United game. The United manager situation. My opinions on that. But uh, first things first, let's have a quick look at the squad. Now, uh, FIFA seems to think we will be we we little, 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 sorry we will be playing uh, four one two one two. Uh, I kind of agree, except I would have thought the players will be a bit more wide to counteract how wide the Chelsea players play, because of course you know they love going down those wings, and I feel like if we were to play that tight, they just dominate us down the wings and be able to cross in. I can't change their team as well, but of course Mourinho did say during the week that uh, he expects, he wants to play his second team. Now that could be mind games, but I personally think he isn't playing mind games. He generally doesn't want to play his first team. I might be proven wrong, but I would expect to see a mix of players, first team and second team. But uh, it still be really tough for us and it'll still be a really hard game for us to win. So I'm going to press play match and I'll come right back after the training thing because it's not very entertaining to watch. Okay, I am back now. Of course, this is in the Premiership. Unlike Chelsea's game against Atletico Madrid, which is causing all this controversy with Chelsea playing their second team, Mourinho apparently thinks that uh, the Champions League is more realistic target for him. And I can understand that, of course, even if they beat us this weekend, it will not be in their hands. It will instead be in Man City's hands. And then, if City were to drop more points, then it would be in Chelsea's game hands. But, uh, you know, it will be so tough for us anyway. No matter what team they play, it will be worth more than our squad. Uh, well, at least more than we originally bought our squad for. And, uh, well, you just can't take anything for granted in this league. It's the first time we've gone to one of these big games as favourites, I think would be fair to say there's also the pressure of that and also we have to get seven points from our last three games and we have to play two really tough games I'm not so worried about Newcastle although I know that could bite me up the arse for saying that but I'm not but I'm more worried about this game this weekend and the away game at Crystal Palace who have been in incredible form they're probably the second informed team in this league apart from us and there's even been calls for Tony Pulis to get the manager of the year award which I couldn't see why he I personally thought Chris Palace were definitely gone as at the beginning of the season when Ian Holloway handed in his resignation. But what an impact Tony Pulis has made and what a different side Crystal Palace look now. Unlike David Moyes made at United. Because of course he's been fired this week and there's been lots of transfer gossip. Giggs has taken uh, control for now but it's only temporary and people are pretty sure it will stay temporary due to the situation because uh, they want to spend 200 million and it sounds like United board don't really want Giggs to spend that money. I personally think that if Giggs was to win these next four games and win it in style he would have a shout but even then I'd be surprised if he was to keep the job but you know who knows maybe it he will and maybe it'll be all good and jarred <laughs> quickly scoring a goal for us three minutes in. What a start hopefully we get a start tomorrow like this and that would be brilliant but one or to us already but anyway going back to United I personally am unsure about Luis van Gaal who's the favourite right now to take over in the summer about him managing United I wouldn't mind him joining because I'm a Liverpool fan and I don't think he'll do very well uh, I don't know 
massive months for him. I know he's managed by Munich and I know he's got quite a lot of uh, UEFA Cup victories. I think it's two and one Champions League and also seven league titles with different clubs. So that's, I mean, I'm, there's no doubt in my mind he's a top manager. But I'm not sure he matches the United way. I'm not sure, like, that's the big thing this week. Giggs came out and said that uh, he's going to make sure United play like how United should in uh, in the last four games season. And I'm not sure Van Gaal will do that as well as Giggs or other managers might. So, uh, in my opinion, if I was a United fan, number one target would be Hugo Klopp. But he has come out and said that he does not want to join, which, again, I'm unsure about. I think he may be saying that, but I still think that if uh, they were to offer him enough money, making some guarantees for a transfer budget, convince him of the future of United, uh, they could convince him to join. And at that point, me as a Liverpool fan would be terrified of United next season because Klopp, in my opinion, is the best manager in the world, maybe apart from uh, Brendan Rodgers. And, uh, well, he's just, I'm sure he'd do amazing for United, as I'm sure he'd do amazing for any club in the Premiership. But now let's look at uh, this game's fixtures. So, of course, there's the big one, Liverpool versus Chelsea. And as I said a couple of times, Jose Mourinho has come out and said he wants to play second team. I think he might be lying, but I'm pretty sure he wants to play something along the lines of his second team. Maybe not completely a group of youth players, but maybe uh, like a hybrid. Of course, quite a lot of players cannot play in the next semi-final. Uh, JB Obi Mikel... Um, Lampard, Salah, and uh, what's his name? Mal Mal Malich? I can't remember. He's in this game. He'll pop up in a bit. But uh, the player they signed from uh, Benfica, they are both cup tied because they played early in the season f for them in the Champions League. So again, I would expect to see them making appearances. But apart from that, it's a bit give and go. I would expect Dembabard to start up front because I would have thought. Torres would start up front for them in the Champions League. Eto'o is, of course, out injured. Again, uh, Hazard is expected to be able to play, but not expected to start. He's only just returned from injury, so people think uh, Jose Mourinho will not risk him and instead will start him against Atletico Madrid and maybe make a bench appearance for us. And it's 2-0 to Liverpool. Oh, I'm so good, guys. I'm so good. No, I'm joking. Uh, some really poor defender from Chelsea there. And again, hopefully this will be exactly what happens for us against um, them on the weekend. Yes, I know that's biased, but I am a Liverpool fan. I'm allowed to be, and I am there as well. So I'd like to see us trash them. But uh, anyway, moving f at other games, um, there's, of course, United versus Norwich, I think. A massive game for Norwich, of course. They are fighting for their survival. They really, really need a victory to have a chance to stay up. They've got some really tough games, and United are probably actually one of the easiest games they have left which says something about how tough their last games in the season are they did a really good job against Liverpool last week they came quite close to a uh, game them back to a draw but Liverpool held on their nerve and uh, well I know the game made my heart beat faster and uh, so had well done to Norwich for that and uh, hopefully they can do the same to United because I would I, w I like Norwich I wouldn't mind them staying up although some people do have to go down and uh, the big thing is, I would love Sunderland to uh, stay up now after all the help they've done Liverpool. Because I haven't done this for a while, but they of course beat Chelsea at Old, uh, not Old Trafford, at Stamford Bridge. And also drew with City, which meant it was well and truly in our hands. And not only was it in our hands, we also had room for mistakes. And uh, I think that could come in useful. I could see us drawing to either Chelsea or Palace. So hopefully... Uh, we won't, hopefully we won't, and we can win it as soon as possible and go into last day of the season with at least a three-point advantage, maybe even have won it. Because I think if City drop any more points and we win our last three games, well, next two games, we've won the title by the last game of the season. So that would be absolutely amazing. And there they are, through and goal, Oscar, two versus one, but Skirtle gets the ball. That was poor from Oscar, he didn't have the pace, he should have passed it or something, I don't know. But uh, that was poor from him. And can Coutinho find Sturridge? No, it's just too far. But anyway, uh, so uh, I think Norwich could really challenge United. But of course, United will be massively big boost to morale due to Giggs' uh, role as manager. It sounded like they really didn't like Moyes. They weren't playing for him. And it sounds like Moyes was very angry with the board, which I can understand, given the way he was fired, given the leak, etc., etc. But um, I, would, I would expect United to beat Norwich. Just due to the players wanting to do really well 
four gigs, their talisman, and uh, their star player. Of course, I think he's played for them in the last 20, well, last, however, Premiership seasons, he's played for them in all of them. And, uh, of course, he's still technically a player for them, but he's not expected to make any cameo appearances for them while he's manager. So, um, I think, apart from that, I can't think of any games, big games, uh... City, yeah, City are playing Palace, that could be a tough one, just like I'm worried about Palace. I think they should be worried about Palace as well, they're in such brilliant form. Although, uh, City are at home, so... Actually, no, they're not, they're not, are they? No, they're away. So yeah, that could really be a game they drop points in. Again, wouldn't that be amazing for Liverpool? For me, <laughs> especially if we beat Chelsea tomorrow, the game right after will be City, and that will be a big, big win for us if Chris Pires were to win it. There you go, that makes sense. In my head at least. Uh, I'm trying to think of other stuff to talk about. Well, I can't actually think of much. Um, I thought I'd touch on Champions League as well. Uh, Real Madrid of course played Bayern Munich and won one nil, But they were at home and it sounded like Real Madrid were completely dominated. I think they got, Bayern Munich got like 70-ish percent of possession. Which for Real Madrid that's really bad given they were at home. And uh, I can see Bayern Munich turning the result around just as much. I think it'll be 50-50. I wouldn't want to bet on anyone to win the tie. But I think it'll be really close. And I can easily see it going to extra time. And maybe even penalty shootout if that's the situation. But uh, this has actually been a surprisingly easy game so far. Again, like I did last week, I'm going to leave it at half time. Because uh, I can't really think of much else to talk about. I think I've covered everything I want to cover, and uh, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow, or some other day. I don't know why I said tomorrow, because I won't be seeing you tomorrow. Yeah. See ya.